have uh, in 3M internship information session today, and we have uh, a guest from 3M uh, who will be sharing uh, internship uh, opportunities at uh, 3M and the kind of industry uh, skills that they are looking for. So this will be a really uh, very, very important opportunity uh, for you as a student. And 3M has been doing this uh, or has been organizing this kind of intention information session for quite some time with us. So uh, feel free actually to ask question anytime. And um, yeah, the other thing I want to highlight is uh, better Peter is actually a Metro alumni. So uh, just feel free to ask any question either during the presentation or after the presentation. So Peter, uh, welcome and uh, the floor is yours. You can you know, introduce yourself and, and then yeah. uh, share the resources you have. Ishmael, thank you. Thank you for having me here in the introduction and Emily and Labar and Bill Baldus. Uh, yeah, please ask me questions. This is an opportunity to start a relationship with 3M, and I am a former student. I graduated from Metro State with a degree in computer science in 2006. Uh, so no. thank you for having me. I uh, want to give a quick presentation. I think uh, Ishmael did a good job. I'm going to talk about our internship opportunities, what working at 3M looks like. Uh, Kind of give you an overview of the timeline. So why don't I just start off with and uh, hmm, there we go. So uh, our TTS. So I'm just starting with this slide right here. Gonna, who are we targeting? So we come in and we are specifically looking to recruit interns. So our internship is a summer program will be at Metro State's campus next fall, looking to recruit interns for the year 2023. Uh, interns, it's actually a requirement that you must be a student after the internship ends. So just right here, I'm just kind of laying out what we're looking for. Uh, freshmen technically do qualify to be interns, but Typically, they haven't completed enough relevant coursework. They haven't begun enough work in their classes of major focus. So you can apply, but uh, it's a little bit harder to get in. Sophomores, definitely eligible. A lot of it's going to depend upon the classes that have been completed and even any relevant work experience. That's something we really look for. So now when you're in your college career, uh, what type of work experience do you have? Do you have technical work experience? Is there something you could do to begin getting it? Uh, juniors, that's really the sweet spot where we're looking to recruit from. Fully prepared for the internships, completed all of the entry level classes, have begun to focus on their major at school and typically do have some relevant work experience. And now seniors, we're getting a little too late. Uh, if you graduate before the internships end in 2023, specifically in, I think, August of 2023, it technically is too late. And you'd only be a candidate for, or not only, but you'd be a candidate for the full-time positions and not for our intern roles. Uh, now, something to think about, I know Metro State students graduate all throughout the year. I graduated in December of 2006, so uh, I would have qualified to have been a student because I was basically uh, a junior and a half or a partial senior. But this, this is an important concept to look at when we're doing our Metro State internship recruiting. Uh, before I hop in and talk a little bit about 3M, anybody have questions about the intern minimum qualification slide? Are there any minors that you uh, take an interest in as opposed to just the major side of the- You know, there are. Uh, I think, so in particular for these internships, we're looking for uh, computer science, computer security, uh, tech comm, 
MIS and similar miners there. Uh, miners that would be highly in demand actually right now is information, risk, security, compliance. Uh, I don't know what that translates into at Metro State though currently, uh, maybe cybersecurity. So that's a great question. Uh, we are open to all degrees. So the minimum requirement is being a college student. Uh, maybe you're in biology, but you're like, I'm in computational biology and I'm really interested in this. And if the case could be made and the resume and the work experience were there, it, it, you would qualify. Uh, there is no hard rule on what degree you have to have. Uh, but it wouldn't work, you, you know, say if you're like, well, I'm in biology, but I like to do field work at lakes. Uh, we don't, that's not something we offer. Uh, I hope that helped. It did, thank you. Right, perfect. So this is a little bit about, uh, you know, I'm kind of gonna actually, for time, I'm gonna skip the big 3M speech. Uh, I think we're all kind of familiar with us. We're right down the road from Metro State, right off of 94 and McKnight, uh, actually able to finally return to the campus starting this week. Uh, but our internships uh, for right now are planned to be remote. So I'll talk a little bit about that in a minute, but I wanna focus on the technologies, or sorry, the transformation technologies and services area where I work. And this is where we're bringing in our interns. There's three major groups. So we have transformation and technology. We have transformation deployments and operations. And then we have our global services and facilities. So transformation and technology is focused around our business group and operation partners. Uh, we're a big organization, there's about 4,000 of us. So this specific group, it's their job to actually be the liaison between uh, what you could think of as traditional IT and the businesses. And they really help us enable our growth through transformational technologies. They coordinate the transformation of technology solutions inside and outside of our area. So a lot of what they do is they work with the business groups our staff groups and they try to understand their needs and what's required, they bring that back. And, and they're really looking at the future. That's why it's transformation and technology. What do we need to be doing to hit our clients' needs? What should we be doing in two years, in five years? And they bring that back to IT and keep us on our toes. The transformation, deployment and operations. There's three major areas in here. We have our ERP ecosystems. Uh, we do a lot of work with SAP, Workday, and other uh, major platforms as a service. We have our IT systems. It's a lot like you might think a traditional IT, and we got a little bit of everything. We have our on-premise data centers. We do a lot of cloud computing, so our AWS teams are in IT systems. And then our business process transformation teams. And a lot of what they do is they take a look at what are our business processes? What could we automate, right? Like, why do I have to have somebody click eight buttons on a screen? Could I automate that? Or even, hey, could I take an order from a customer without any human action interaction at all? And then global services and facilities. Uh, actually, this slide's a little out of date. Corporate aviation has moved out of our area. But uh, when we do IT, we have to have global support 24 hours a day. 3M has 80 manufacturing facilities in 80 different countries around the world. There's not a moment where we don't have to have uh, or, or provide support or could have downtime. So our global service centers, we actually work, we have global service centers in Poland, in Costa Rica, the Philippines, we're making a technology center of excellence in India. And then of course, we've got a major location here in Maplewood and uh, do a lot of work supporting and triaging issues that come up in IT. So, 
Uh, what is the portfolio? What does it look like? How do they lay out? And you, you can kind of see, this is a, you kind of think of it as like a service oriented diagram around change management. And the foundation obviously is built upon our traditional IT infrastructure, our compliance and our security layered on top of that is our ERP systems. So we call that Polaris. What makes that work is master data and intercompany, uh, intercompanies, how all our different pieces talk to each other. That's broken apart into three major end to end processes. So uh, we have applications that support demand or market to cash, supply. You could think of uh, plan to deliver. Another way to think about it is like warehouse and logistics execution. And then our support, right, where we have our record to report, that's our finance systems, hire to retire, and our source to pay. So that's our banking. And uh, to make all of that work, we built on top of that our service operations, our supply chain center of excellences, and our global service centers. And then actually layered one more time across that, we actually have our digital commerce solutions. So we have like a, we got 3M.com. We actually have a internal site it's called, we call it Bcom. It's a lot like you can imagine Amazon, except for all you can buy is 3M products. And the only customers though that use it, so the prime users are our customers. So all of our pieces tie together. How do we do it? So these are our five culture elements. Uh, it's something critical that we actually like operate with these is uh, customer at our core, innovating boldly, powered by inclusion, winning with agility, and doing all four of them with unwavering integrity at all time. So, you know, you can think of this, when you work at 3M, my manager never comes to me and says, you know, Peter, I want you to think like and with the customer. I want you to develop solutions that are the best for the customer. Or Peter, I expect you to have unwavering integrity. These are like foundational elements we expect all 3M employees to have. Uh, before I jump in and talk a little bit more about uh, what you could get out of the internship experience, I'll stop and let people ask questions. It's all sounded awesome. Everybody's like, yeah, ah, you know, it's a great time to ask questions. I will be back next year looking for applications and doing interviews. So if you've got one, feel free to speak up, raise your hand. So what does 3M technology transformation and services offer to our interns? And I had quite a few slides to talk about this, but it's really an opportunity to burnish your resume, okay? You'll be able to have a Fortune 100 company on your resume. Uh, interns, one of the main things we do actually is hire our internships to full-time positions. Uh, it's not guaranteed. Sometimes people actually come in, like, it shocks me, but I've seen this happen where interns come in and like, I don't want to work at 3M. Uh, it actually happens, I think, most often. We recruit uh, basically around the entire nation for our office here in St. Paul. We recruit around the world for all 80 of our locations. Sometimes we'll recruit somebody from Arizona or Southern California and they just are like, oh, I can't do a Minnesota winter. Uh, but it does happen. But you know what? It still looks great on your resume and you've got some great job experience. Gives you the opportunity to work with global teams across all functions and across all the world. Like this, it, it's like normal for me now. But I remember when I first started working at 3M and I would tell people, I'm like, literally every day I talk to people on five different continents. Like every single day I'm talking to people, fellow 3Mers that work in 20 to 30 different countries. Like we are a global country or sorry, a global company. And it is expected that our teams are made up of global people. 
And actually, since we went all remote, the ability to have this diversity of work and share work around the world is just expanding. And it's actually, I tell you, it's super cool, even the way it like really is starting to mesh now for us. Sometimes I got projects on my team and I can hand off something to somebody that's in China or the Philippines and they pick up and work on it overnight. And then somebody picks it up in the EU and they continue to advance the project. And when I get back into work in the next morning, 16 hours work of work has happened. I, I mean, it, it's, it's really a great experience. Uh, gives you the opportunity to look at your career and what you want. It is what you make of it. Uh, this is something you'll even learn about 3M. I've had multiple careers. So my first degree is computer science. Inside of 3M, we're big enough. I came in in a highly technical role. I was a mobile application developer. I had a Mac. I wrote applets for the iOS. I made all sorts of really cool applications. I then took on a lead DevOps engineering role. A lot of the work that I had done, they were like, that's really cool. We will need other teams to do it. Peter, will you go and teach them? So I had a teaching role. Now I work in the value management office, do a lot of work trying to figure out what type of work we should do. There's way more demand for work than we could ever do in TTS. So I help sift through it, specifically looking at value. What is the best next project for us to do? You'd learn about how you have a career inside of 3M. You're going to get exposure to Lean Six Sigma tools. So uh, that's actually a pretty awesome program to try to understand how to develop or fix solutions. At 3M, you're going to get exposed to a diversity of technologies and exposures to other disciplines. Uh, this actually happens, okay? So sometimes we'll be doing the info interviews, and somebody's like, well, what, what programming languages do you use? And really, at a company 3M size, it might be easier to go with, like, which ones don't we use? And then it would be like, well, maybe we don't use ADA and uh, we don't, you know, but we probably use basically every language. Uh, I shouldn't say that, I, but most, right? Like we have a ton of technologies here. We have traditional cloud infrastructure. We have AWS, but we also have a big product. Pro, so I can't even say a big uh, uh, exposure to Azure and Google Google Cloud Services, and we use SAP as our main ERP, but we have plenty of different ERP systems in place. And uh, another thing you'll have at 3M in your internship is job variety and flexibility. Get a little bit more in there, but your internships, they're not here you come in, here's some PowerPoint, or here's some files to clean up. Our interns, it's a very well thought out managed program, and you will be given quite a bit of variety and even some total flexibility for your own project to say, you know what, reverse mentor us, impress us, show us what you can do. Uh, so it's a pretty great opportunity. There is a question in the chat. Uh, it says, is there a deadline to apply for the summer internship? And yeah, how does the selection process work? Yeah, uh, that's a great question, super relevant. And that's actually why I'm here to raise awareness for this. So right now we don't even have the job posted. And, and I've got a specific timeline slide I'm gonna get to show you, but as soon as you come back next fall, that job will be posted right away. Uh, Metro State probably already has the diversity and career fair scheduled. So we'll also do an info session around them. We may do some class talks and we'll give out the info on how to apply and handshake for the job. And that will pop up. So if you're back in school, maybe the Monday after, or sorry, the Tuesday after Labor Day, this fall, the job will be posted. And then we'll close off applications the day after the career fair. And the recruiting team, I'm, I'm just one of the members. We have a few other members. We then review the 
resumes and we select the leading candidates to interview. Great question. Uh, so a little bit more about the TTS internships. Just again, who are we looking for? Uh, current sophomores and juniors, uh, half seniors, preferably in a STEM major or a minor program, uh, not specifically required, but definitely beneficial. So what uh, 2023 IT summer internships looking for highly technical analysts and also business process analysts, where? Uh, so who knows what's gonna happen uh, next year in the summer, uh, but right now, it's uh, probably going to be virtual. Maybe some opportunities for in-person, I don't know, uh, but focused around the St. Paul headquarters and focused around the St. Paul headquarters working hours. Now we do have flexibility on when people do work, but in general, it would be uh, somewhat aligned with St. Paul time when the internships last from the last week of May till the middle or end of August. And why would you wanna do it? Real world IT project experience, build your technical, your communication, your leadership skills, build up your resume, possible opportunities for full-time roles at 3M. Uh, so just some specifics, the duration, 10 to 12 weeks, 40 hours per week. These are paid, uh, highly competitive pay. Uh, I was actually surprised how well we pay our internships. I was an intern, I was paid, it was great. Uh, what does your internship program look like? So this is that job flexibility. 70% uh, of your time, you'll be working in a functional area. You'll have, uh, supervisor that will put together and work with you on projects, something specific to your functional area. Uh, you could be involved with a hackathon. So this is 10% of your time. This is where we're asking you to show us what's cool, what we should be doing next. Uh, sometimes the hackathon events are uh, defined. Sometimes they're wide open. The hackathon events, they occur too. So I'm recruiting for interns in the TTS, but we actually have interns all across 3M. So we have them in our R&D and product development and HR and finance and marketing. The hackathon and the intern program activities, those are all across 3M. So uh, I can tell you the hackathon last year, they basically said, you know, here's a 3M air filter, here's a couple sensors that you could attach to it, and uh, here's a Raspberry Pi to collect the data. What can we do? And uh, all sorts of different product or product ideas came out of there from sensors on what was the air quality to when was it time to replace the air filter to even feedback information to our R&D teams to try to figure out how we could make more effective air filters. Our intern program activities, uh, this is a structured program, so it's uh, pretty awesome. There's networking and learning opportunities. Every week there's a Meet a 3M VP event. There's also different events for the interns to get to know each other. It's a critical thing at 3M in your career that we develop our own personal brand and our own personal networks. Something important to enable you to execute at 3M. Also, so, so you can kind of think of your internship as a, as a long-term interview where we're interviewing you to see if we want to hire you, but you're also interviewing us to see if you want to work at 3M. So you can explore, do I have an interest in long-term 3M employment? Uh, what area? So a lot of times you might be assigned to a functional area, but that's not where you see yourself in the long-term as an intern, and you'll have opportunities to get to know all of 3M and explore them. Uh, 
The internships are typically in these four major areas. We saw these a little bit before, but the IT systems, very traditional, we could think of it, or, or I shouldn't say very traditional because it's cloud-based and everything, but what we might think of as traditional IT. So information security, risk, quality, release management, services, strategy, operational excellence. This is where we do our cloud services team. Actually, you know, we actually have our own high performance computing lab. A lot of our R&D, uh, the cloud is cool, but maybe I need computer systems a little bit closer to our R&D devices. So uh, great experience there. Digital transformation. This is a huge thing. So 3M is a materials company, but right now we are specifically working on how do we transform ourselves and become a digital company. Our ERP ecosystems, this is where I work. This is our, uh, this is SAP, this is Workday. Uh, I work with the process teams and basically how do we support our businesses and our global service centers. Uh, that 37, this was actually last year's number. So we recruited for 37 interns. I don't know what our numbers yet for this fall will be. Uh, again, the internship experience, professional growth, some of the events that happen, there's a formal intern panel. They do tours. This is when it was in person. So uh, sometimes they go to 3M plants. Uh, this it was actually when I was an intern, like this kind of blew my mind. I went to a plant. We went out to Menominee where there's a 3M plant and you go in there. And first of all, like there's not as many people as you think, right? Like I'm thinking a traditional plant and this is just a huge building. Like in my head, I'm thinking like some movie from the nineties where there's like 500 people working there and, and you go in and, and, and I mean, there's a lot of people working there, but it's nothing like I thought. And there's actually a lot of PhD engineers working in the plant. And uh, as we're walking around, I'm seeing all of these devices and everything's automated and automated guided vehicles and pickers and packers and talking to one of those engineers. And I'm like, this is so cool. Like every day you're working with like literally hundreds of computers. And he kind of looked at me like, Peter, you don't get it. And I, and I was like, what? I, I want to work with, with robots. Like, this is so cool. And he's like, no, 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 Peter, there's not hundreds of robots. You're just inside of one big robot. And, and for me, that was like, whoa. And to realize that's actually how modern plants work, right? Like one big robot. Uh, I thought that was super cool. Uh, but anyway, so we do tours, labs, data center, manufacturing. You'll have group projects, speed interviewing. So they like to give a lot of practice sessions. Uh, you'll be able to present your projects to 3M senior leadership, lots of networking events. You're actually assigned a peer mentor, somebody that was an uh, intern within the last two to three years. You're assigned an executive intern. This is somebody that's a director or VP at 3M. They can give you a wider picture. Uh, and opportunities for community building events. And the whole time there's learning about the TTS. So I kind of mentioned there's the meet the TTS leader sessions every week. You could be part of the diversity and inclusion network. Awesome. Yeah, yeah. I am literally right there. <laughs> but but why don't we try to do this while I'm waiting for my presentation to come up? And uh, I'd love to take any questions people have. Uh, I'd, I'd like to get your names too. Like, like please start a relationship. Like, I'm here. I'm going to talk about some of the secrets. I'm going to show you what a good resume looks like. I'm going to tell you the types of questions. I'm even going to give you one more secret, okay? Somebody asked, hey, when do the job get posted you know what last year i think we had something like i don't know maybe 50 resumes that got pushed into the job i'd have to go look uh how do we weed them out you know now we look at every single resume and we look for competence and progress in school but you know what i also look for people that want to join us at 3m and here's the secret it's not just me that does this too 
every event I come to, I try to get the name of the people that asked me the questions, right? The people that interacted, the people that want to join the 3M team. So next year when I'm looking at the resumes and maybe I have two candidates and on their resumes, they're looking very equal. Well, who do I offer the interview to? Most likely the person that interacted with us at one of the info sessions. So uh, here's your chance. I have a question. Hi, Peter. <laughs> yeah, I thought that might motivate somebody, but yeah. Um, so my name is Abdullah Afala, and uh, I'm in the middle, I changed my career. I'm in the Metropolitan for data science, um, but I'm 30 years old. Um, my question is like, is it like uh, age risk, I mean, limits for internships or? Yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> That's a super great question. And no, there isn't. Uh, I, when I was in internship, I was 33. So there definitely isn't. Uh, now, one of the things where sometimes, and th this was something that was kind of harder for me to do, because I, I was also a non-traditional student like you, uh, I actually took a job at Metro State's IT center to uh, develop the skills, right? To have the background that was needed. So uh, I had to think about what could I do now to begin the transition that my degree is leading to? Great question. Hi, Camila. Uh, 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 I'm wondering for a full time job, uh, is there an onboarding process? Uh, yeah. In the hiring process? Yeah. So uh, for full time jobs, we're actually always posting them. So you can always go to careers at 3M website and take a look at them. Uh, but that's that's not what I do the recruiting for. I'm, I'm specifically looking to recruit interns. Uh, I do when I come back in the fall, if there are any full time positions that are available for recent graduates. I'll also bring info on them, but I just refer you directly to the job application to apply for. Uh, the typical role into full-time employment at 3M has been through the internship program. So I think I showed earlier where we recruited for 37. Uh, last year, we had two Metro State students and then uh, two Metro State students as interns, we ended up able to convert one intern into a full-time role. And then this summer, so the 22 interns, we now have three Metro State students. And I'm hoping to have success and at least convert, I'd love to convert all three of them into full-time 3Mers, but uh, we'll see how we do. Hope I answered your question. Um, I, I think so. Um, I mean, Hi, Peter. Uh, sorry, go ahead. Hi, Peter. Um, my I have a question. Mm -hmm. My question is, uh, can graduate students apply for the internship or is it only meant for undergraduates? Yeah, actually, oh, no, graduate students can. And I, I'm sorry, I wasn't really clear on that in my presentation. So uh, I was also a graduate student when I was an intern. Uh, it, it, you know, to be an intern, it literally like is a legal definition of an employee. And the main one is you must have been a student before and after the program. Uh, and, and that's basically uh, why we have that requirement. So a graduate student who will be a student before and after the internship program, yeah, qualifies. Lots of times, actually, we bring in MIS, MBA students. So that's, that's an awesome question. Yeah. Uh, I didn't get your name. It didn't pop up. Everybody else's name Showed. What was your name? My name is Idia. I think we met before. Okay. Idia, yeah. I think. But yeah. Yep. Yep. I think we did. Yeah. Okay. 
Awesome. Yeah, definitely. Congrats on the undergrad degree and moving into a master's. Is that Thank what it you. is? Yes. Awesome. Master's in management information systems. That's great. Thank you. Yeah. And, and my actual computer is up. I'm just kind of waiting for a couple programs to launch and I think I can get back to my presentation. Okay. Question. Um, yeah. Uh, so you've been working at 3M pretty much since college then, right? I've been working at 3M for 10 years. Ah, yeah, maybe I should have gave my own background. I graduated from Metro State in 2006. And uh, tell you something, I actually made a mistake. Uh, you know, I didn't really know how it worked. I didn't understand the intern process. So when I worked, or when I, when I was at Metro State, I was 32 and uh, I was just like, you know, I gotta get a college degree and then you get a job. And I kind of thought of it that way. I didn't even really start looking for a job out of Metro State until about two weeks before I graduated. I think somebody said to me, well, do you have a job or what are you gonna do with that degree? And I'm like, oh crap. <laughs> and at the time there was actually some, I don't know if you remember this, I don't wanna, well, I already told you I was as a student, but uh, uh, I went on something called Monster <laughs> and started applying for jobs and just throwing my resume out there. And, uh, you, you know, it took a while to get a job. Luckily, I did. Uh, I didn't start right at Metro State. I actually started at a company called Emergent Networks. And I worked there for about two and a half years. And then I went back to do an MBA. And uh, that, when I did my MBA, is when I became an internship at 3M. Hold on one second. I'm going to drop here and join on my computer. Okay. Peter, yeah. we have you on mute again. All right. Uh, thank you. Totally sorry about that. I, I have not had a blue screen like that for uh, quite a long time. Uh, those are some great questions. Thank you. Uh, I think I'm going to get set up here again and uh, go back to my presentation. Hey, am I showing my display yep, yep. screen? Is the right screen showing up now? We see your presenter screen. You see the, ah, oh yeah, yeah, yeah. I had to do the swap. Thank you. Ah, thank you everybody for your patience. Uh, quite embarrassing, but uh, I will get to the bottom of it so it doesn't happen again. Uh, our internship experience is pretty awesome. Like, like it's, I'll just finish up. It, it, it's, it's well thought out. You will like it. You will grow if you get this. Had an earlier question about what does, uh, what does the timing look like, right? And I was just getting her on a lot name there, but uh, we are at step number one, right? We are here. Uh, I'm giving you the information, so this is, I'm going to get into it, but it's, it's time to start writing your resume. Don't wait till next fall to write your resume. Uh, you kind of see across the bottom, the high level, like raising awareness, info session, late September, Metro State Career and Diversity Fair, applying through jobs till October 1st, the interviews. Uh, so we are at step number one. We are raising awareness. Uh, Almost as soon as you come back next fall, start looking in handshake for our info sessions that we'll set up. We also do a couple special sessions at the diversity and career fair that you can register for. At the same time, you'll see the job posted in handshake and you can apply. Uh, we take the resumes, I think this year or last year, we did it through October 4th. And then we cut off the resume and you know what? We have to make it a hard cutoff. Uh, otherwise, they, they just never stop coming in. And then we perform the interviews that week. And uh, it actually can take about three to four months to 
finally uh, get through all of the internships. So uh, super high level, pretty clear. Everybody be ready. So uh, super important that you're writing your resume right now. A uh, resume is not something you write overnight. Uh, it, it, it just doesn't work. I mean, I, I don't know. I maybe for me, it doesn't work. I, I spend time. I actually work to refine mine. I'm in the middle of refining mine. Uh, I want to give you an example. OK, uh, I want a resume. OK, don't give me a CV. Don't give me 30, 40 pages. Don't waste too much space with pictures of yourself or things you like. Uh, keep it concise. Uh, focus on what your vision or your objective are. You're a student, okay? We're looking for internships. Put your education at the very top. Uh, include your GPA. This is critical. Uh, if you don't, everybody's going to assume it's terrible. I actually don't have mine on here, but I was like a three something or other in my undergrad. Uh, it's better to post it, right, than to not. Uh, you can put in your skills, your experience, and uh, focus on what you achieved or what you did. But th this is uh, critical, okay? If you give, you know, if you put a 10 page resume together, it's just going to get lost. It'll be a TLDR, right? Too long, didn't read. Make it easy for the hiring managers to see you and understand you. Now, the great news is, is I'm one of the main recruiters for Metro State. We've got a whole team here. But uh, once that comes in, once I've done our interview and I recommend you, I just hand your resume and my recommendation to the hiring managers. And this is what they read. And you're competing against students from 27 other universities and recruiting events. So we don't just recruit at Metro State. Uh, it, it's, I, I can't go on with how critical your resume is. Like spend time, uh, don't have grammar errors in there, right? Put in your dates, make it very clear when you have the roles, what you've done. Uh, keep it to one page. You, you know, one of the things that I, I actually do, so I always work on my resume. Uh, don't just have one resume. Take a look at the job posting that I make and think of your resume as an answer to that job posting. If I said, this is the skill or the experience I'm looking for, I don't lie, right? Don't make something up. But if you have that skill or experience, make certain you put it on there. Uh, you might even find that you have that experience and you could talk about it. Maybe it wasn't even in a technical role, but you had a, pro a time where you saved a major problem or you reduced costs for a business. So think of the resume or, or sorry, the job description as a question and your resume is your answer to it, right? Make certain you identify how your skills, right? Your background match the qualifications and descriptions provided. Uh, use your university's resources to polish your resume. I know you have a career center. I think that there are resume review sessions. Take advantage of them and go through multiple cycles. Like, like a resume is hard. It's one page. <laughs> You've got to basically condense yourself to it. So start now. Uh, critical, critical piece. Questions? Yeah. Um, so currently uh, I'm working. Uh, you mentioned working help desk yourself at uh, Metro State, correct? Yeah, um, yeah. Uh, I'm currently working the help desk at St. Paul College. Uh, student okay, Harvard. yeah, that's great. Oh, uh, is, uh, so my degree, uh, what I'm going for is computer science. I'm, I'm just starting out. Uh, this is, uh, I'm just coming back to school. Um, mm -hmm. so yeah. Uh, what do you recommend? Like I, uh, you want people in their second or third year, um, 
what kind of but what kind of skill set uh is most valuable for like 3m internships yeah yeah well it sounds like you're developing them right now <clears throat> so I, I think really what we're looking for and i kind of talked about it uh grad students qualify people that are going to be students after the internship ends qualify uh, computer science is definitely a degree uh, that we're very interested in. Almost all STEM majors, MIS, MBA, also interested in them. Uh, experience and help desk, that's really great. That, that's actually, you know, that's who I'm going to be calling up about my computer crash earlier today. So it sounds like you're, you're doing pretty good. Uh, take a look at, <clears throat> you know, what is industry standard right now. You know, somebody had earlier mentioned data science. That's actually really huge right now. Uh, lots of companies have a ton of data and they don't know what to do with it yet. Uh, other companies have a ton of data and unfortunately they know exactly what to do with it. But at 3M, we're just on our journey trying to understand what do we do with this data? How do we improve? So uh, yeah, great question. You know, one of the things that kind of important to at 3M that we even look for and actually search for isn't just technical. Uh, we look at, uh, sorry, uh, are you giving back to your community anyway, right? So maybe it's not a technical, but maybe you volunteer somewhere at a local church or community event, or you've had some opportunity to do that. That's, that's actually really in demand right now. Uh, 3M wants employees that, you know, don't just care about 3M and about the buck, but they really care about right now in Minnesota and the world. So that's also something you could explore. Love your question, Heron. I'm going to jump in. I want to give you one more secret, okay? And, and this, like, like, I want you to have this not just for 3M, okay? Uh, I want you to prepare to be interviewed. Spend some time, Google up star interview techniques. I want to give you okay. a tip. Oh, <laughs> my daughter. Uh, Google up star interview techniques. Spend some time on this, okay? A lot of interns struggle with this, but I'm going to ask you about a situation. I want you to talk about the tasks and the actions and the results. So I'm going to ask you questions. I'm not asking you a trick question like, what's the mean distance to the moon as it orbits the earth? Or, you know, why are manholes round, right? That's not what I'm going to do. I'm going to ask you star based questions. And I'm not going to ask you a specific one. So I'm going to ask you a generic question like, can you tell me about a time where your manager had a problem you needed to solve? And I want you to be able to think about a specific situation where you had a problem to solve and give me the details, right? Say, you know, my manager came to me, we had a problem where there was too much moisture getting into the room and the pizza crust was not getting crispy. It was staying floppy. And I was tasked to figure out what the problem was, right? And then what actions did you take? Maybe you're like, you know what? I took a look around. I noticed that our windows had a lot of condensation on them. And I made the hypothesis that our windows were drafty and they were letting in humidity. And I also looked at our thermostat and we were actually running a temperature that was lower than the dew point that was causing this moisture building up. So the actions I took was to seal the windows with a 3M adhesive and to adjust to make certain that the thermostat was never below the dew point, right? And what were the results? The moisture cleared up, the pizza crust got crispy, and everybody loved it again, okay? So I didn't ask you anything about the, I didn't ask myself anything about a pizza crust. I'm gonna ask very generic questions, right? Like, can you tell me about a time where you had a conflict or a disagreement with a coworker? And you need to have spent some time before you come to the interview thinking, these are some specific situations that I've experienced. 
And when I'm asked these questions, I'll be able to talk about them. And you know that pizza one, you could actually talk about that one on a, hey, maybe there was a time when I experienced a problem. Maybe you could be asked that same situation if I said, could you tell me about a time where you had to use science to solve something, right? Like, so make certain you research STAR interviews. That's the same questions I ask. That's also the questions that other companies ask. This is very common. Uh, if you moved past me in the recruiting process, uh, the next level of recruiters that do the final job offers will ask you a STAR-based questions. Uh, critical that you spend some time, uh, review your resume, prepare for STAR questions, and I'll be back next fall. I've Peter, got... we always appreciate that you can come and be a part of this and, and share such great information about 3M, but also share really practical information about how to be successful in a job search that our students and alumni can use to apply to these internships and potential career opportunities with 3M. Yeah. I'm mindful of the time. We have five minutes before we're scheduled to wrap up today. So we could take a couple questions before we wrap up. Um, and, and if multiple people have questions, we might want to use like the hand feature, but I see Hafsa just went off mute. So maybe they could start for us. Yeah, um, I had a question. So Peter, you told us that um, the, um, the application will open, but they're not open right now. But then on, on pages like Lincoln, I see um, 2M posting jobs and saying internships and yeah. in certain areas. You know, Arisa, that, that, that's true. And what I was specifically talking about is the internships I come to Metro State uh, to recruit for. We, we actually are always posting jobs. You can find them if you go to 3m.com slash careers. And we always have jobs. Now, uh, one of the things to think about is, is if you come in through the internship and the career and diversity fair, then, then you're working a lot with me. And uh, sometimes it's a little bit easier, but we definitely always have full-time jobs. Please apply. So um, do, you, um, do you have um, full-time jobs for the for entry positions? And also, will they be having um, some guide just like the interns? Yeah. Ah. We may or may not. I actually don't know what full-time positions we have right now. Uh, I, I specifically recruit for the internships uh, next fall. If there are jobs specifically targeted undergrads, I'll have that info next fall. Uh, that's very rare though, but it does happen uh, where we do have those positions. Like it, it, but it, it's a little bit more rare in the TTS area where we have uh, entry level. If you're on the 3m.com careers website, if you see you are in the title under grad requisition is what that stands for, uh, that is one hint that they're looking for or it's targeted at a recent grad. That's great advice. And um, it was shared in the chat, but the fair that Peter's referring to is our virtual diversity networking and job fair. We will host that Thursday, September 29th through Handshake from 3 to 6 p.m. Uh, so we hope you all can join us. You will definitely get an email from us through Handshake. Uh, so pay attention to those emails, um, but you can mark your calendar now. Yeah. You know what? I got to update my slide. I think I had the wrong day. So thank you, Emily. <laughs> well, I think with that, now might be a good time to wrap up. Peter, if students have other questions, are you okay with them reaching out to you through LinkedIn? Or is there another oh, yeah, way yeah. that you might want to oh, be contacted? Absolutely. Yeah. Yeah. You know, I uh, definitely reach out. Find me on LinkedIn here, you know? 
Well, let's give Peter a virtual round of applause for joining us, for handling those technical issues and presenting at the same time. That is extremely impressive. Um, we love when our alumni can come back and we love having you every semester, Peter. So thank you for all you do to advocate for our students for our potential internships. Yeah, glad to be here. Thanks so much, Peter. Yep. Have a great Thanks everybody for coming. Yeah, everyone have a nice evening and connect with the Career Center so we can help support you get that best application um, ready to go and um, submitted with 3M.